Um, this is pretty incredible. Primary night, Republican Eric Cantor. Everyone watching the show knows Eric Cantor, the House Majority Leader, is fighting for his political life against Tea Party challenger Dave Bratt. Uh, no one saw this coming. Cantor was expected to come out on top. Right now, though, 68% of the precincts reporting. Cantor is at 44% of the vote. Dave Bratt, 57 this this is if if this continues along the trajectory that that it's looking like right now, Aaron. This will send shockwaves through Washington. I mean, this will truly be an incredible upset. There are a couple things here. One, Cantor comes from a very conservative district. When he's leading the House, you know, he's he's put himself as being sort of the the van, at the vanguard of the Tea Party. However, he has recently tried to take steps towards. Yeah, moderating is a controversial word, but but <laughs> trying to stream, streamline and mainstream the team party towards you know moving potentially towards immigration reform. This could this could absolutely derail uh, the the any any chances yes. for immigration reform uh, because because I think that was trying to go on behind the a scenes lot of right now. The left would say Eric Cantor was not known at all for compromise. I mean you know so so if this goes this way, are we now saying that even Eric Cantor, who is not known for massive compromise, is too much of a compromiser this will also for be the a story tea party? On, it will also be a story on polling because most of the polling beforehand did not show that he yeah. was actually this vulnerable and I, this is shocking to me that 60 percent of, of the precincts reporting. Let, let me just bring in Mark Preston who runs uh, is in charge of our polling here at CNN. And Mark what about that point that, that that Margaret just made that this would show I mean polling did not show that Eric Kinner could lose did it? No, certainly it didn't show that it was could lose. And, and the fact is that Eric Cantor was spending a lot of time in, in trying to make sure that he had secured his right flank. Now, his uh, opponent right now, Dave Brad, who's leading, uh, was running from the right, trying to paint Eric Cantor as being too moderate, not conservative enough, uh, specifically on that immigration issue. Now, this would not only be uh, terribly surprising tonight, this will be the upset uh, of the year if it continues on and Eric Cantor does not win uh, his Republican primary. A couple things to keep in mind. Eric Cantor is the majority leader in the House. He really is like on a trajectory to become the next Speaker of the House if John Boehner is to leave and Republicans were to maintain control. So this is an amazing thing we're seeing unfold very quickly right now, uh, just south of us, right north of Richmond. This race right now could be the upset of the year.